Hello everyone. Today I want to welcome you to an episode of Happy Meadow Tales where we will follow Robbie the Rabbit and Benny the Squirrel and others in adventures and fun things that happen in the meadow. Join me as we get started on the new one. All right, hold on. Molly's Meadow Visit One bright and sunny morning in Happy Meadow Benny the squirrel woke up with an extra spark in his eye. He had received a letter the previous day, and it was filled with exciting news. His sister, Molly, was coming to visit from the meadow on the other side of the forest. Benny was so overjoyed. He couldn't wait to introduce Molly to all of his friends in Happy Meadow and show her the beautiful place that he called home. As Benny squirreled around, <laughs> preparing a warm welcome, Robbie the rabbit noticed his excitement. What's got you bouncing so much energy today, Benny, he said with a grin. Benny couldn't t contain it any longer. My sister Molly is coming for a visit. She lives on the other side of the meadow, on the other side of the forest, and she's never been to Happy Meadow before. Robbie's whiskers twitched with delight. Well, that's wonderful news. We can't wait to meet her. Let's help you get everything ready for her arrival. Together, they gathered flowers to create a colorful bouquet in the meadow. And Lila, the ladybug, offered to decorate the meadow with radiant spots. Max the mouse helped Benny bake a delicious acorn muffin. While Ollie the owl wished to share stories about the meadow's history to entertain Molly. As the day passed quickly, the sun began to set. Benny spotted that familiar silhouette off in the distance. She's here! he exclaimed, his tail twitching with excitement. Molly arrived in Happy Meadow with a warm smile. Her eyes filled with wonder as she looked around at the beauty of the meadow. Benny rushed forward to greet her with a big hug and introduce her to all of his friends. The metal creatures welcomed Molly with open arms, and she felt an instant connection to the friends that were there in the vibrant community of Happy Meadow. They all sat down for a delightful metal feast, sharing stories and laughter under the starry sky. As the evening wore on, Benny and Molly found it a new quiet spot so they could catch up on their own. Benny shared tales and adventures about Happy Meadow, and Molly spoke about her life on the other meadow. They laughed and reminisced and cherished the moments that they finally were able to spend together. As the night grew later, Benny and Molly joined their friends once more before she left to go back to her meadow. Benny felt a deep sense of happiness as she fit in with all of his friends. As they settled in for the night, Benny knew that Molly's visit had brought even more warmth and joy to all of Happy Meadow. He realized that family bonds were not confined to one space, but extended to wherever love and friendship flourished. The end. Well, that was exciting. That was great that Benny got to see his sister. And his sister came with joy and happiness and was able to share in the Happy Meadow area and all the other friends that were there. What a great story. Join us again as we find another adventure in Happy Meadow Tales.